destined for greatness. Certainly evidence wouldn't surface in his first varsity game in an enemy camp like Knoxville, Tennessee. That just wouldn't happen to a tender freshman from little Wrightsville, Georgia. Welcome to beautiful downtown Wrightsville, Georgia. Now, Wrightsville, Georgia, in the smallest town in the state, and this is not as small as my hometown. I'm from Moreland, Georgia. Moreland's so small, both city limit signs are on the same pole, if you can imagine that. As a matter of fact, it's so small, the truck stop is a nail in the highway. But Wrightsville, well, it's like any other little South Georgia town. It's got a uh, bank. It's got a uh, corner drugstore. And it's got a courthouse. And it's also got a beer joint. PBR, cold to go. But there is something very special about Wrightsville, Georgia. There's something that has put Wrightsville, Georgia on the map. And that something is Herschel Walker, the greatest freshman running back in the history of the planet. Now, everybody in Wrightsville knows Herschel Walker. And if you don't know how to get to Herschel Walker's house, all you got to do is ask. You get right on top of the hill right there, you take a right. Right on top of the hill right there. You, can, you can't miss it after you pass the factory down here. You take a right after you get on top of the hill. You go all the way out, past the second railroad track, and just you can look for it from there. You'll see a big white house sitting up on top of the hill. You can't miss it. But you can miss it. I tell you, we found that out. But if you drive long enough and you pass the railroad tracks, go across the tracks enough times, you finally get here. You get right here. This is Herschel Walker's house. And this is Herschel Walker's front porch. And this is Herschel Walker's dad. And this is Herschel Walker's dog. His name's Bullet. But the person that I really came here to see, we're going to see her inside in just a second. And that's the person that knows Herschel Walker better than anybody, his mother. Ms. Walker, I, we were talking about this outside, and I have seen these bumper stickers around that, that say what all the Georgia people are talking about right now, and they, it says, God bless Mrs. Walker. Have you seen any of those bumper stickers around? No, I have when I heard about them, but I hadn't seen any yet. What did, uh, what did he eat? What was his favorite food? Well, when Hirsch was growing up, his favorite food was peas. He peas. liked the peas. Is that right? Yes, I thought he would never get enough of peas. <laughs> when I really thought he would, might would make it, although I didn't like football, I tried to talk him out of it several times. You tried to talk Herschel out of yeah, I playing did. football. Yes, I sure did. <laughs> you afraid he was going to get hurt? Well, yes, and I was afraid he was going to hurt someone. I, <laughs> well, I, I didn't want him someone. to get hurt or either hurt nobody else's child, and I thought football was a dangerous game for anybody to play. Well, Every time I see him, I ask him, how's your grade coming out? And, and I think that they daddy asked him, what's your who y'all going to play next Saturday? <laughs> oh, but. Ms. Walker, God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>